is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we are going to be discussing what exactly was the best elite set of 2018 we're not talking about exclusives you know we're not talking about target exclusive hall of champions set one or set two or nxt or whatever we're talking about the wwe elite mattel set like the official line you know wave one through 64 65 that we're on right now um that's the main line that we're talking about and I think Elite 56 was the last series that hit in December of 2017, so I believe every set that has hit stores or came out this year from Ringside Collectibles until retail has been from Elite 57, which included, you know, Jeff Hardy, Seth Rollins, Scotty Tuhati, all the way up till Elite 64. Maybe Elite 65 will come out, you know, at the end of this month, maybe before 2019. But um, we're gonna start. We're gonna say that it ends with Elite 64. So Elite 57 through 64, we got a lot of great figures, and I want to know what the best Elite set was. I pretty much have it in my mind what I think it is, but I'm interested to see what you guys have to say as well. We're gonna take a look at them though. We're not just gonna you know say that. I'm not just looking for you guys' opinion. We're gonna actually go through each set from 57 through 64, and I'm gonna give my opinion on the set and everything like that. Um, and I believe I will give you my full, you know, what I think is the best Elite set of 2018 at the end of the video. I want to give a huge shout out to WWE Stage Creator from Instagram, my boy, one of my friends in this community. He hooked me up with this picture right here. He posted this last night or yesterday on his Instagram page, and I thought it would make for a great picture, and it had for a great video. So thank you so much, WWE Stage Creator, for this wonderful picture. But let's go ahead and dive into these sets, guys, and see which set is indeed the best elite set of 2018. So starting out first with Elite 57, guys, you can see here we have the full set. We got a shirtless Jeff Hardy, first time in the line, Ty Dillinger, Elite. You know, we did get the basic from the NXT Target exclusive. We have a Shinsuke Nakamura, a Trash Corbin, a Seth Rollins from WrestleMania 33, and then a first time in the line, Scotty Tuati. Very impressive set. I think this is a really great set. You know, Jeff Hardy shirtless is incredible with those, you know, the details and the tattoos. And this is one of the first Jeff Hardy figures that they released in the Elite form since he returned to WWE. So this is a really big elite for Jeff. Uh, Ty Dillinger, very popular at the time. Everybody loves Ty Dillinger. Though that figure had some problems with the lower legs and everything like that, it's still a great looking figure. Shinsuke Nakamura, uh, Shinsuke has always had great figures. I think this head scan isn't the best, but it's not a bad figure at all. Also came with a cloth t-shirt. Trash Corbin, I don't really care for it. He was a terrible Mr. Money in the Bank. You know, he wasted his cash in. And um, I think that figure is actually kind of trash. I think I like his Elite 50 a lot more, even though we did get the cloth shirt with it. Elite 30 or Elite 57 Seth Rollins is an excellent figure. Though I'm not the biggest fan of the head scan, the attire is beautiful, and I think they did an excellent job on that figure as well. They have the molded on belt and everything, so that's a great looking figure. And then Scotty Tuhati is just, you know, he's Scotty Tuhati. I love that we got a flashback in this series, and Scotty Tuhati is somebody that I'm glad we have in figure form. So this is a really strong set, and I think overall this is definitely among them. We'll definitely keep that in mind, but this set is a great one, Elite 57. Let's go ahead and look at Elite 58. So getting into Elite 58, guys, we start things off with Matt Hardy. We have a Mickey James figure. Uh, this is her first time in the Elite line. We got a Sheamus, which it had been a while since we got in a Sheamus. I think it was like Elite 46. So this was like 12 Elite Series till we got another Sheamus. A Braun Strowman figure that was pretty sick at the time with a screaming head scan. We got an updated looking sort of Dean Ambrose with an Intercontinental Championship. And then we have the other half of the bar in Cesaro with his entrance look. And um, starting things off with Matt Hardy, I mean, this is supposed to be the other half of Jeff. He came with the Raw Tag title. He had the green bright pants. I love this figure. I thought the head scan was incredible. I really, really dig this Matt Hardy. One of my favorite figures of the year, I believe. Very under the radar. Mickey James, not a big fan of the women's figures just because they don't give them the same articulation. So it's sort of hard here. I love that we got the throwback women's championship with this figure. I do like that a lot about it. The attire is not my favorite and the head scan's a little bit weird. I wish we would have got a new head scan for her. Moving on to Sheamus. I like this figure. I think this is one of his best elites. I like the straight faced head scan. I hate his accessories. I think his accessories are actually awful. Um, they don't really go together at all. Like it's just a terrible rubber piece of trash. Um, 
But the head scan and the attire, I am a fan of. I really like this Sheamus figure. Braun Strowman, this is basically the Elite 52 figure with an updated head scan. You know, the, the screaming head scan, which is great. I love the ambulance door as the accessory. I just don't like that it's basically the Elite 52 with a, a new head scan. I wish they would have given us the Timberland boots or something to update this figure. Dean Ambrose, we saw the same exact head, head scan 10 series ago, I think. So... Or no, we didn't get this figure with it. No, I'm, I'm completely wrong. This Dean Ambrose did have a newer head scan at the time. I just did a fix-up with that, this head scan on the Elite 48. So no, this is not the same head scan. But I do like this shirt. I love the jeans color of this Dean Ambrose. And I did like the fact that we did get updated jeans color. But it's basically the, your same Dean Ambrose Elite. And finally, we have a Cesaro figure. And this Cesaro is a really good one. I do like the black, gold, and white attire. And I love that they put the Kinesi tape or kinetic tape on his shoulder. I think that's a really nice touch. The only thing I don't like are the little cross things on his shins. I really didn't like those at all. Um, they just really were weird and everything. I think this is supposed to be the WrestleMania attire, but uh, I, I wasn't a fan of that. Besides that, I really did dig this Cesaro figure. Not a bad set at all. Again, all current guys here. Um, no flashbacks in this series unless you count Mickey James, but this is basically a current Mickey James. So, I don't know. Pretty strong set. It's just like, um, it's a good set, but it's like it's pretty bland. Like, the figures don't stand out or anything besides Matt Hardy. So, um, let's go ahead and move on to Elite 59. Moving on to Elite 59, guys, we do have a pretty strong set right here. Starting things off with a flashback Kurt Angle from the early 2000s, the Ruthless Aggression Era. We have a Demon Finn Balor with the wrong torso. We have an updated Zack Ryder from Battleground 2016. We have a pair of beautiful-looking American Alpha Elites in their uh, gold and red, white, and blue flag, like sort of paint splatter attire. And then we have a terrible-looking Miz head scan with a terrible, uh, terrible accessory there. But this Kurt Angle figure, let's get into to this guys this is one of the strongest figures of the year one of my leading figures of the year i think that everything about it is beautiful um while the torso and arms could probably be smaller i still think that it's a beautiful representation of kurt angle i just really love probably one of my favorite mattel figures ever made by them it, it's just such a great figure i know that some of the accuracies aren't the best and the jacket is a little bit too big in my opinion it's still a great looking figure demon finn balor guys i mean you know how i feel i hate when they use this body mold i understand that they can't always put this uh, they can't always give us the ripped torso because the paint application won't go on the ripped torso, but I would rather give us a non-painted demon than give us the wrong torso for the demon. So that's just how I feel about it. Um, this is not even a attire he wore in actual competition. He wore this prior to SummerSlam when Seth Rollins first met the Demon on Monday Night Raw. We have a Zack Ryder from Battleground 2016. This is a great Zack Ryder figure, definitely his best elite, though the part choices at some points are a little bit weird. I still like this figure a lot. One of my favorite figures from this set. The pair of American Alpha Elites are great. I really do enjoy these. Um, though the torsos aren't always, the, the paint doesn't always match up because they mold the torso in a different color. And then they paint it, uh, they paint the torso skin tone on there and it really messes up, you know, comparing the arms molded plastic color to the painted torso color. That is a bummer. However, these are their best elites, so I can, I can back these figures. I really do enjoy these. And then we finish it off with Miz with a terrible head scan and a terrible accessory and a bland black attire. I wish that we could have got a different attire. Um, still a strong figure when you head swap it, but at the same time, I, I cannot stand this Miz figure. Um, from a head scan and an accessory standpoint, I really do. It does disappoint me. Not a bad set. Um, there are four strong figures in this set, and I know a lot of people love Demon Finn Balor, so I know that a lot of people like this set, but Miz and Finn Balor sort of bring it down for me. So uh, it's not my favorite set, but it's not a bad set at all. Next up, guys, we have Elite Series 60, and this series starts off with a banger with Elias. You know, this is first time in the line. Though they jacked up his arms and his torso, you know, they're really, really big. I think this figure is very strong. It comes with great accessories, and it is a great head skin, so you always can count on Elias. Triple H, this is his WrestleMania 33 attire. I love this figure to death. The first bearded Triple H head skin. Um, all of Triple H's figures are usually pretty much the same, just different graphics, but this one's a little bit different with the longer beard. I love this attire. When he came out in this attire. I was going to actually make a custom of this figure. However, Mattel went ahead and made it for me, so that is a big plus for me. Andre the Giant or Giant Machine, not the best. I mean, it's a great representation of uh, Andre the Giant, obviously. However, I'm not a huge Giant fan. 
I totally respect him and everything. I just don't really care for the flashback. You know, I didn't get to witness his career or anything like that. So I'm not, you know, soul tied to the figure, if you wanted to say that. We get some great New Day figures. I love these figures. I love the attire of the New Day. These are definitely the best New Day elites that we have gotten so far. So those two New Day elites are very strong in their own right. And then we have... Everybody's favorite, John Cena, with his uh, orange attire in the orange and blue respect, earn it. And I like this figure a lot. I love the shorts color. It's a lot like the Dean Ambrose with that pants color, that dark navy, sort of realistic sort of tone to it. And they did update his shoes. So this is a great John Cena figure. And the only thing I hate about these figures that they give John Cena is that they always make his t-shirts too small. So that is a bummer. But overall, this is a great set, you know, with Elias, Triple H, The New Day, and John Cena. I mean, I know people complain about John Cena, but it's still a strong figure at the end of the day. Even if we do get one every single time, at least they give us the t-shirt, and I do like this series a lot. Next up, guys, we do have Elite Series 61, starting off with Shane O'Mac. This figure was pretty strong until they gave us that weird head scan. You know, this is a lot like his Elite 50 figure. It's just his Hell in a Cell attire. You know, the head scan... Um, was a lot more younger looking Shane than an older looking Shane, so that was a bit odd. I love the AJ Styles figure. You know that USA attire is absolutely phenomenal, pun intended there, with the AJ Styles and the America and the P1 and everything. I really do like this. You know, we got the True Effects style head skin going on. Um, always a bummer with the AJs is them giving us that same old, same old torso that's way too small for AJ Styles. But, you know, they're not going to fix it, so I can't really deduct points because I knew that was going to be with this figure. Big E is looking very strong. He matches his New Day brother, so I am always loving the Big E. The red, white, and blue USA attire is definitely their best elites by far. The Fashion Police look great. I think Tyler Breeze is a damn near perfect figure. Fandango is almost there, except his head scan needs something. I just feel like something's off about his head scan. And then his torso and arms are absolutely way too jacked, so that is... Definitely not something that I like. Literally, from the waist down, the figure is absolutely perfect, so that is a bummer. And then we finish up the set with my boy Kevin Owens, and I do not like this head scan. I know it looks and favors Kevin Owens, but I hate the short hair look. Um, his tattoo is very weird on this figure for some reason, and then, of course, they give him the jacked arms. But I'm not going to deduct points for the jacked arms, but they made the tattoo of mine way too big, and then my eyes were not aligned correctly. So this this figure was not my favorite. I liked to When I head swapped this figure, it was really, really strong, but um, it was not strong, you know, just outright. So that does hurt the set. But overall, this is a pretty strong set. I love AJ. I love Big E. Fashion Police are nice, and then um, the other two are, are pretty decent. But... Um, very strong set, Elite 61, not a bad set at all. Next up, guys, we have Elite 62, starting out with Dude Love, a figure that we have long awaited for. So this figure is a definite plus, one of the best figures in the set. Even though the shirt's not the most accurate, I think they did kill this. Everything about the figure is great, though mine... Uh, did leave out the glasses somehow. Somebody at Mattel left out my glasses. Not a big deal, though. Elite 50, uh, no, Elite 62 Braun Strowman is absolute trash. I mean, the boots are cool. Um, it's pretty much just a true effects version of the Elite 52 10 series ago. You get two TLC chairs, but most of Braun Strowman's figures are the exact same. While I do like the boots a lot, you know, it's just, it's not that interesting of a figure. Roman Reigns, I do like this. We get a white Intercontinental Championship. We get an updated true effects head scan. And then, of course, we do get a gold updated vest. I like Roman Reigns figures. I like to collect those, so this is a uh, plus for me. I do enjoy this Roman Reigns a lot. Akam and Rezar are two easily two of the best figures of the year, hands down. They will definitely be up there when it is all said and done for figures of the year. So these guys came in looking very, very great. They definitely make the set worth it. And then we end things off with Sting, where they gave him a subpar head scan. They gave him another terrible rubber jacket, and then they gave him the jacked up torso. I do love Sting, and I love uh, flashback Sting figures, but um, I'm not a fan of the torso they always use and then the rubber jacket, but I am happy to have this flashback Sting, so it really doesn't bring down the set that much. This isn't a bad set at all. It's just like I couldn't get hyped for it for some reason, even though I had some great figures. I don't know what it is. It is a good set, but I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Next up, guys, we do have Elite 63, and it is the beginning of the Chase variant figures. We have Dusty Rhodes first up in this set. Great flashback figure. My first Elite Dusty Rhodes in my collection. I love the World Heavyweight Championship. You get a slew of accessories. Even though the hat doesn't even fit the Dusty Rhodes figure, it's still a great flashback figure, and I'm glad that we did get a flashback figure in this set. Sami Zayn, I think this is his best Elite by far. I wish they would have given him the uh, hand tape that I've discussed in the, in the past. You know, when he turned heel, he did start 
start rocking the Dolph Ziggler style tape where it covers his wrist and part of his hand. So I don't know why they didn't do that here with this figure, but it's still a great head scan with great accessories and it is a wonderful attire. Shelton Benjamin, first time in the line as far as Elite is concerned, and he does have a chase variant. So not only do we get a current uh, updated Shelton Benjamin, we do get the Chase variant, which is the gold standard from, you know, the later 2000s, and um, it, it's a beautiful looking figure. Both of these are so wonderful. I love Shelton Benjamin to death. He easily brings out the best in this set. I think it's my favorite figure in the set as far as everything is concerned, but next up we have Shinsuke Nakamura, guys, and this is an easy contender for figure of the year along with Shelton Benjamin, in my opinion. Though Shelton Benjamin had jacked arms and, um, you know, everything about that, this Shinsuke is a perfect figure. I think from head to toe. This is a perfect Shinsuke. Um, the head scan is definitely his best. It looks exactly like Shinsuke. The interchangeable hands are amazing. And then, of course, the cloth accessory jacket is incredible as well. So this Shinsuke Nakamura definitely brings the set up. However, the next figure does bring the set down. This Dean Ambrose. I'm not a fan of it. I don't like the shield legs for it. It's uh, replicating one of my least favorite matches ever with that TLC match um, when it was 5-on-3 with Kurt Angle joining the shield for a night. I absolutely hated that match. This head scan it just does not resemble Dean Ambrose to me. I don't know why. Um, it just looks like he has wood teeth. And then we finished the set off with Kane, and they did that same thing they did with Elite 47.5, where they made the mask removable. And I head swapped this for a masked Kane figure, and after you do that, it is a perfect Kane figure um, after that. And you can take that, you know, uh, maskless head scan, you can put it on an authority Kane, and I think that works even better too. So you can kind of, you know, you head swap it, and it works out really well. I think it's a solid Kane figure, and this set is really good. I think, you know, with that Chase variant, uh, Shelton Benjamin, and the Shinsuke, it really brings a set up. The same. Zane's great and then the Dusty Rhodes so not a lot of negatives on this set but I think this next set is what really takes the cake guys I, Elite 64 I mean look at this set right here we have a pair of Usos that are incredible I thought that you know the Elite 54 Usos were great but these are just they take it a step further you get the cloth jacket with Jimmy and you get um, the vest with Jay and the head skins are great the red attires are great and all of the accessories they get with these guys are incredible. I think that these are two of the best figures of the year, hands down. You also get a first time in the line, Kurt Hawkins in the Elites. Um, you get the Chase variant black version, and you get the royal blue and orange version. And both of these are so great as well. Um, I think they did a fantastic job on this figure with his accessories. John Cena, my boy, they gave him You Can't See Me hands, and it is an updated uh, John Cena in the green and purple attire. I like to call it the Incredible Hulk attire, and it also includes his cloth t-shirt, so you can never beat that. Um, the next figure is Samoa Joe, a perfect Joe head scan. They also gave him the interchangeable hands, a cloth shirt, and a towel. And they actually fixed the problems with the older figure where the uh, they used to have a bunch of paint chipping on the right leg or whatever where the red was. It used to reveal the black underneath. Now that is no longer a problem. So they fixed the issues with that. And then the last figure is Seth freaking Rollins and he's burning it down with the Royal Rumble flame. Create a superstar attire. And it is beautiful. I think that they killed it with this head scan. They killed it with this attire. And all the interchangeable hands and accessories in this set are hands down the best. I think that this is easily the best set, in my opinion, for 2018. Elite 64, these figures are great. And if you guys forgot about it, there's actually another figure in this set. The Target exclusive Pete Dunne. Yes, it is part of Elite 64. You remember, starting in Elite 63, I think, we we're going to start getting uh, series exclusives to stores. So Walmart, I think, is getting like Elite 63 Sherry Martell or Elite 65. And then um, in Elite 66, we're supposed to be getting Alexander Wolf at Target or something like that. So Pete Dunne is also a part of this line, guys. So that even makes this line even more special and more over the top. So I think it's not even a, a freaking uh, debate. I think that Elite 64 is the best. When you factor in all these great figures with the great accessories and the great detail, and you factor in Pete Dunne, I think that this series literally is the undisputed champion of Elite sets of 2018. I would love to know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. This video literally went way longer than I expected, but I guess reviewing all these different sets and going through all the figures really did take a toll on the time there, but I hope you guys did watch all the way through. If you guys did, um, leave me a comment down in the comment section below letting me know which Elite set is your favorite. Do you agree with me that Elite 64 is the best? I would love to know what you guys think down below, but um, 
Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And again, let me know down in the comment section below who walks out of 2018 with the best Elite set. Even if Elite 65 released tomorrow, guys, I think that Elite 64 would hands down still walk out as the undisputed Elite set champion of 2018. But thank you guys so much. See you guys in the next video.